Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Gaetano Carbonara of Montini Catholic Football. How's it going? Buddy? How's it going, sir? Good to see you. It's going. Um, I, I, I don't know if you know this, but we're back. This we're week. back. We are back. Illinois football is back. Absolutely. Um, yeah, of course, um, obviously for my uh, – I have to do a disclaimer here. Uh, for all the people that usually follow this channel up in, up in Michigan, because obviously that's where I'm from, Illinois is also starting their football season this week. So uh, we figured we'd catch up with uh, um, one of uh, one of Illinois' top quarterbacks as well. So I, I got to ask you, how was your uh, how's your off season? Uh, the off season went very well. We're coming off of a, a rough loss to uh, the defense, the state championship Byron team. Um, myself and my team included very uh, motivated and consistent and disciplined with our offseason programs that we all did. Um, I thought we all grew well as a team. I thought I grew as well as a player. Definitely improved some of my um, intangibles as a quarterback and as an athlete because that's all you got to do is continue to keep getting better and better, every, better every day. So I, I thought the offseason was great. Summer camp was really good for us as a team. We got better every single day. Um, so now it's just um, us preparing for Hyde Park week one at the yeah. stable. Yeah. Okay. So, I, you know, I think um, before we talk about the upcoming season, we have to go back. Um, I, I know that, you know, you know, coming so close to the ultimate goal um, I, I know that was, um, the last time you came on here, I, I know you mentioned that that was probably one of the, probably one of the roughest losses you've ever had personally, but what was that, yeah. uh, I, I, what was that like just to like, like to get to, I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say get over that, but how long did it take to, you know, I don't think you're ever going to get over it because, you know, how long you're going to, you know, players today, when they think about their high school days, it's like, you know, they still think about the games they could have had. Yeah. So, but how have you got, how, what has that been like just to, just to deal with the process there? Um, me personally, I know um, I, I use that every single day to, um, as a reason, obviously to keep, uh, keep moving forward with this game that I love um, as a reason as to why I, work so hard for um, what I believe my team and myself deserve, obviously, um, because I, we've worked our tails off for years and years of not only doubt for two years, but now um, not really anyone believing us and now pressure actually making it so far um, last year after go not being very subpar for what my team is used to be. Um, but now I mean, we're back to where we, what we've always been and, that obviously brought some new pressures for us as a team. Um, I don't think we'll ever get over that loss, obviously. Um, it's always going to linger. Um, but, you know, you have to keep going. Um, we are going into every game like like it, like it is our last. Obviously, and now, especially my senior group, we have 29 guys um, on the varsity squad as seniors this year. So we're playing every game like it's our last, knowing we only have nine guaranteed wins and we're not playing for nine. We're playing for state. So um, we're going to use that game every single day in practice, every single game that we have. No one, we don't want to feel how we felt ever again because um, it was all a rough day for us all. Not, not just myself, for all of us, the coaching staff included. It was a, and the whole community. It was a very tough day for us. Yeah. Um, I, I know it was tough for everybody to get over, but like, yeah. I, I, I need to go. Let, let, Let's go inside your head a little bit. Like, you know, as I mentioned before, I just, just kind of take me through like the process of, you know, using that as the motivation stuff and, and all that. So this off season, um, like talk, talk about really what you did. Um, so, I mean, right, literally the weekend of the game, I started – I went, I, I started back with training and everything. I was, I mean, I was at, I've, I was at, I've been at quarterback training 
every single weekend um, of this off season. Um, I I didn't I didn't get the opportunity to go on a, a break, obviously because of some other stuff with the family. So I I was lifting and throwing at least six days a week with one, not even an off day because that off day I was throwing at, with my quarterback trainer. So I mean, I was basically going no days off the entire off season. Um, and that's just because in the back of my head, I would, you know, as the competitor I am, I would think, well, what's Byron doing right now? Are they getting better than me? And I, I mean, I don't, not even Byron, just like the, everyone, everyone else. Like what, I don't, I don't want to be with like the rest of the crowd. None of us do as on our team, you know, we want to be above that. Um, so, I mean, I, uh, I would just, I, I want to be, I want to be better than everyone else. I want to be the best there's ever been. So I, I want to outwork everyone and that comes in my path. I mean, I, I mean, you've probably heard it from literally every coach and while you're asleep doing some, not doing anything, someone's up doing some, doing something, not working you. So uh, I take that very serious because it's the truth. If you're not doing something, someone else is definitely doing something to get better than you. So um, I go through that every day in my life. Um, just to become a better overall person, not even an athlete, just a better overall person. Yeah. Um, so I think for you, like, first off, I, I need to ask you, like, can you believe that you're a senior this year? No, not at all. Uh, we just had our, uh, we have like um, a scrimmage game every year. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's us versus us. And I vividly remember like my first snap as a freshman during that, um, that scrimmage game, like vividly remember it. And having that yesterday was, it was weird. Cause I mean, I'm a senior. Okay. So it's gone by fast, but I'm excited. Um, okay. So let's, um, you know, going through this, you know, going through practices and going through all that, um, you know, what was the uh, first few weeks of camp like for you guys? Well, the first few weeks of summer camp, um, obviously getting the rust off. We look, I mean, we looked very good compared to where we were last year, which says a lot because we were very good last year. But compared to where we were, the, compared to the two years, we were definitely ahead of where we were last year. So the first few weeks were very good. Um, the offense looked great. Defense looks great. I mean, we have 11 returning starters on defense and eight on offense. So, I mean, we're very deep this year with players. Um, I thought we looked great to start off the summer. And then I thought we just kept getting way better and better as the summer went on. Yeah. Okay. Um, I usually, I've been doing this a lot lately with um, senior football players. Okay. Can you go back? Can you take me back to one story from your freshman year? One story. Uh that's a probably man. You got me on the spot. <laughs> like for football or like in general. Football. Football. Um. Probably on, only the people from Montini will know of like football players, but the thirty-five workouts. I mean, we we were. I was so intimidated going into it because I was like, oh, with because we're, we're practicing with the whole, it was the whole football team. So first day with all the seniors and the juniors and I was so intimidated by them um, and I was so excited so that was that's probably one of the better memories football wise um, yeah those 35 workouts were electric though electric yeah um, can you could, can you just explain what those uh, what those are by chance uh, for, yeah I don't know we just all got together and we went through our, normal football stuff, passing concepts, um, defensive concepts, obviously. And then we did like on field workouts with certain type of, with like weights, sleds, um, stuff like that, tire, tire flips. And it was, it was just a very fun experience. Okay. All right. I think, um, you know, I usually ask the question, like, how do you like mentally prepare for a game? But um, with you, I'm going to ask you, like, can you take me through, like, um, like a home game and an away game for you? Just kind of describe, like, step by step what you like the process of, you know, before a game, if you don't mind. Yeah, for home games, um, well, obviously, we're lucky to be at home. So we get a full 
day of being at your own turf. But throughout the whole day, I um, I don't. It's not that I don't like socialize with people. I'm just like kind of in my own world, you know, because my main focus that day is is winning. Um, especially being obviously the quarterback, you have to be the most focused, mentally sharp. Um, in my opinion, obviously. So I'm not very social I'm not really socialized that much that day unless it's like with teammates about football so um I'm very honed in as to what I have to prepare for whether like the play call sheets um what the defense is showing us on film um and I always have my earbuds in just listen to certain music so and then after school we go get our food and our um our food that we get like our sandwiches and the few little snacks to get us ready um i'll go through like some of my players the plays and stuff give us a little bit of time to um rest and get mentally prepared and then when it's game time it's game time ready to go and then the same thing goes for away games except obviously we're on a bus then so then a lot of that mental preparation before that game happens on the bus but uh it's the same stuff in my for me in my opinion i do the same thing Okay, so let's 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 dive deep into that. I need to. Um, it's always interesting to see how players like prepare for different types of things. Like, um, how do you uh, like? Because every player is so different uh, than everybody else. Like, how like, you know, when you get on the bus, are you like watching? Are you like, are you that last? Are you just like, okay, I got to get this last bit of thing in, or I'm like no, I just need to be in my own world and all that stuff. And I, I can't like watch. Oh, so I'm, I'm just curious with that. A little bit of both because I'm not, I don't want to be the, like, I'm not the guy that goes into the, into like a game day, obviously on that bus where like, I'm like, yeah, I'll be fine. Obviously I'm, I know I'm gonna be fine, but I'm still watching film, but I'm not trying to overthink any of it. Like it's, it's a game. You know, you win games in practice, so if I know I'm confident going into the game. Obviously, what I've seen, what I've done at practice, watching film throughout the whole week. So, I'm not I'm not trying to overthink any of it, but I'm just touching up on some things that I want to get some reassurance on. So that's that's usually I'm, I'd say there's a fine middle. Okay, so are you like, um, are you just like get it like, are you like in your own world like? Just yeah. gotta get, just gotta get ready. Like music in, and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Um. Okay. So, like, just just continuing on that. I, I like, like when you're on a bus going to the, these games, like, and you're sitting there thinking about stuff. Like, I, what what are you thinking about? Uh, if I'm on, if I'm not watching film to get some, or looking at a play call sheet, I'm just closing my eyes, looking out a window and just enjoying the moment, I guess. Um, I'm not, again, like, I'm not trying to overthink anything, obviously. I'm just trying to, at that time, I'm just in the moment. If I'm not watching film, obviously on the bus, so. Yeah, and sometimes there are long bus rides. Some sometimes I'll close my eyes just to rest for a little bit, but I'm just in the moment. Okay. Enjoying it. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, very important question here. Okay. What's on uh what's on Gaetano's playlist? Um a lot of ye uh a lot of ye heavy metal. Mm -hmm. Not heavy metal, but pretty heavy metal rock. Um, some rap like outside of some other rappers. That's really it. It's 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 rap and like and rock. Because rock can really get me going. Rock can like get me going, but like there's some rap, and like mainly Yeet, where like it helps me like really get locked in. Did you say Yeet? Yes, Yeet. I've heard of Yeet. The rapper Yeet. Interesting. Yes, Yeet. I, I've heard of a lot of rappers. Um, obviously, I thought you'd know, say like NBA Young Boy or Lil Baby or something like no, that. No, I don't. I, I haven't listened to Lil Baby since 
what was that one song? It was like, let's go. Like, I haven't listened to Lil Baby since like 2020. I don't listen to him, so. I don't, yeah. And I mean, a young boy, I'm just not really a young boy type of guy. I can listen to a few songs, but okay. no. Okay. Well, Maybe some Drake. Maybe some Drake. Okay. Okay. Drake's, 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 can't Drake's go, good. You can't, you can't Drake's go wrong good. with that. You can't go wrong with that. Okay. Drake's good. And future. Okay. Um, I've okay. I've I've interviewed a lot of players over my over my time covering this great sport. I don't think I've ever met someone that's more determined than ever than you. Um, what would it make? What would make this? I, I mean, okay, that's not the because I, I don't want to ask a question. I know the answer to. Um, obviously, a state championship would be the ultimate success. Yes, but absolutely. Are you more determined than ever to get that championship? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I uh, I'm I don't um after last year I don't really um I'm not at all okay with how it ended. You have to accept it, but I'm not at all okay with it. Yeah. So yeah. What would it mean to you to get it? Oh, a lot. Uh, I've myself and my teammates have worked our worked our butts off. Um, we believe it is def most definitely our uh, it's our time to win state. Especially this group of seniors been through been been through a lot since our freshman year. A um, lot of doubt, a lot of uncertainty with the people around us. Um, not knowing if we'd ever be amassed to what Montini used to be because of a few down years. Um, so we, and we, all of us take that very personal, I'd say. So it would mean a whole lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know you've came on here a few times, but I feel like we need to get to know you the, um, some more. Um, let's, um, uh, yeah. This is the third time you've been on here. It's the third time now. I've been on it twice. It's the third yeah. time. <laughs> uh, let's ask you the famous ten burning questions of um, for uh, for the for twenty twenty four. Do you think you can get more things done in the morning or at night? Um, with school, it's hard to. I get a lot more done at night, but with school, no. It. I don't think you can really. If the weekend, yeah, I, I get a lot of stuff done in the morning. I get a lot of stuff done in the morning on the weekend. With school, it's mainly the night. School week is mainly the night. Okay. Uh, what's the hardest class you've ever taken? It's surprising because I'm in, I'm in a few AP classes, but honors algebra two. That is probably the hardest class in Montini. Or okay. AP physics. That was pretty hard as well. I was I, I enjoyed it. I was good at it, but Honors Algebra 2 or AP Physics, for sure. Okay. Um, what is a food that you will never eat? That I'll never eat? Olives. Yeah. Okay. I hate olives. I hate olives. Okay. Um, what's the biggest thing people don't understand about high school football? Oh, uh, that's, that, yeah. High school football? Well, I don't think a lot of people really understand the game as well as you think. I can't think of an exact moment, but, like, there are things that people just don't really understand. And I don't think it's easy. Like, my position, like, you could you could say, like, okay, do this, do that. But, like, when you're actually under center or in the shotgun and you have to do it, it's a lot harder. Yeah. It's a lot harder. Yeah. Um... So I think that's, like, the biggest thing. Okay. All right. So this next question can be absolutely anything. And I know I think what I, I think I might know the answer to this question. So I'm going to say it can't be anything football related uh, with you. Um, but what is the biggest thing on your bucket list right now? Anything outside of football? Um, probably not get senioritis and like not take school seriously. 
because I just think it's kind of stupid. I, I just want to, I'm going to maintain good grades because like I have buddies that are like, I, I would say to them, like, there's no way you're I, like, this is a thing. And they were like, no, you, you will get senioritis and you'll not want to be at school at all. So I mean, like, so far senior year has been great. We've only been in school for like a couple of weeks and I think we're all having a great time. So, yeah. Um, okay. So to, hold on, but to go back though, with your high school football question, I forgot to say it. Illinois football is the most underrated football in the nation. I don't care what anyone says. It is the most underrated high school state in the nation by far. Okay. There are teams in the state, including us, that would go to another state and whoop and whoop other teams as butts. I'm just saying. It's the most underrated. It's by far the most underrated state in the nation. Okay. Um, all right. Easily. Okay. Um. On a scale of one to ten, how much of a procrastinator are you? Um, not I'm not really one, unless I hate the subject. So, like English class, I will push off a paper for like a good amount of time, and then I'll end up doing it, and usually get a great good grade on it. But like the subjects I like, I will usually get it done like right away or in advance. I don't procrastinate with football, with like film and stuff like that. I don't wait till the night before games, obviously. Um, I, I love it too much, but no, I, I only say with like English class, I procrastinate then, but I don't usually procrastinate. Yeah. Um, rank your, t okay, you can, okay, you can either rank your top five favorite foods or rank your top five favorite restaurants. I'll do foods. Um, Steak, pasta, chicken. Steak, pasta, chicken. Um, oh, pizza. And probably clams. Okay. Clams, the like, clams that like baked or unbaked. Like they're both really good. Raw clams are amazing, and then baked clams are unreal. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. What is the most proudest accomplishment you've ever had? Um. That is. That's that's really tough. Because I could say like making my parents extremely proud, but like. I mean, that is an accomplishment. It is. Yeah. Definitely that making my like hearing that hearing like my parents say that they're extremely proud of me is an amazing thing to hear. But I think definitely um my old one of my old science teachers had saw me in public and walked up to me and said how proud she was of me for the person I've become in the past since I haven't had her in school since eighth grade and up until now. I, I saw her not long ago and she told me how proud she was of me for all the great things she's like heard about me with like school and sports. So that was, uh, that was pretty awesome. I'd say. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself five years from now? Playing college football at an extremely high level and starting. Okay. And then if you could tell your younger self, something. What would you tell? Uh, what would you tell, guy, young Gaetano? Uh, don't listen. Don't take everything. Actually, no. Take take a lot of things to heart in a good way, but don't listen to the nonsense that you hear from other people. And to um to dream big. Because if you aren't dreaming hard enough, then you aren't dreaming at all. Yeah. If it doesn't, if it isn't hard, if you're dream, I, I I just saw this. If you're, if it's not hard, if your dream isn't hard, then it's not a dream at all. Because it should, like, it should. There should be points in your life where you're doubt, you doubt, you start doubting your dream, and you don't know what's going on. You don't know if it's going to work out, but you keep doing it because you believe so much in it. That's a dream. If you if you say you have a dream and you 
start doubting it and you end up just stop, it was never a dream because you stopped. All dreams are hard. I can pull it up right now, but I don't know if I really should pull it up. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, um, uh, well, Gaetano, thank you so much for the time as always. Of course, sir. And uh, best of luck, uh, best of luck this season. And uh, and yes, you, I'm sure we will. Uh, you will find your way back on here again. Absolutely, I'll be on here soon. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good day.